Hey, and welcome to Open for Views Breaking News, where we talk about three important stories from across the globe in always under three minutes. First, the remains of a massive burial site was located in Thebes, modern-day Luxor, Egypt. Two limestone colossi sphinx, originally stretching 26 feet each, were unearthed, bearing the name of King Tut's great-grandfather, King Amenhotep III, who ruled until 1349 BC before passing away at the ripe old age of 50. The temple was estimated to have been destroyed in 1200 BC by a massive earthquake. Open for Views has an exclusive comment from King Tut himself. In other news, Capcom has announced their financial results from the fiscal year 2021. Unsurprisingly, Resident Evil Village, that's Resident Evil 8 if you can read Roman numerals, has shipped 5.7 million copies. Monster Hunter Rise and Monster Hunter Stories 2 were also reported to have been successes. When a reporter asked Capcom president Haruhiro Sujimoto if consumers will see the return of classic Capcom franchises such as Darkstalkers, Forgotten Worlds, and EX Troopers, Sujimoto-san simply replied with raucous laughter while vigorously slapping his knee and grasping at his stomach apparently to stop himself from urinating in his moderately priced yet fashionable business slacks. After turning around to leave the room, he could be seen wiping tears from his eyes before turning around again to point and laugh at the reporter saying, this guy, before finally exiting the venue, shaming the reporter and his entire bloodline. And lastly, the feel-good story of the day. An Arctic hare was found to have traveled the longest distance ever recorded for the species, a whopping 244 miles in seven weeks across northern Canada. When asked about the accomplishment, the female Lepis Arcticus scolded the dazed onlookers, saying, You know nothing of my heritage, nothing of the trials my fellow hares have experienced throughout the theater of natural history. You humans disgust me. It should be noted that the reporters had been given psilocybin mushrooms and were later informed that rabbits, indeed, do not speak to reporters. Thank you for tuning in to Open for Views Breaking News, but the time has come. We were open before, but now we're closed. Beat it. <laughs>